going to Brazil. Do you get to see gorillas? No. Oh, I wish you could do one of those gorillas like. Are in Africa. Like, what? They're not in the Amazon. No. Thank you. Thank you for being our guest. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for me. <laughs> Little guest appearance on the bo- uh, on the bonus episode. YouTube <laughs> Taylor was just here. We. Sp- Build her secrets. We spilled after party tea on the Patreon episode, but for this episode, we're going to talk about the show, the Streamer Awards. It was yesterday. It was yesterday. You want to do it chronologically? It was technically Streamer Awards 2023 in 2024, because it was Streamer of the Year for 2023. Okay. I just do it. Anyway, it's confusing. Anyway, um... Chronologically. Chronologically. I got here a few days ago, um, a couple days ago, and I don't know, we cut up name cards and made plaster handprints and got ready and Cutie practiced her monologue. And then the night before the show, Cutie tried to sleep. Didn't work. Oh, we also spent 30 minutes trying on dresses and I didn't like any of them. Yeah, but then they looked so good. They looked so good on stage. Um, Cutie got three hours of sleep. It was sad. And then... It was really sad. We talked about more, that more on the Patreon episode. Yeah. She cried and then flew up. I cried and threw up. And then we, when we got to the venue... We got to the venue. There wasn't a ton of f- fires this year. There were some issues with like... like Usually I get there and I have to put oh, out fire, oh. fire, 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 fire. There's a few issues with like... Um, credentials list. I think sometimes when you're working on a project, there's too many hands in a pot, and so mm-hmm. then people assume so and so's in charge of that, or so and so's in charge of that, so and so. And so then it, there were a few of those, but they weren't like detrimental in any way. Like extra, I showed up and extra Emily was there, and she wasn't on the list, and they wouldn't let her in. So and I was like, why is extra Emily not on the list? And they're like, oh, she's on so and so's list. And I'm like, no. They wouldn't let me go backstage. <laughs> Really? When the show started, because I didn't have a crew badge. I oh. literally have comms, right? Like, yeah. I have a headset on with, yeah. like, producer and everybody in my pocket. And he wouldn't let me in. And I was like, I am on comms with production right now. Like, you want me to give you the headset? And he was like, can't go in. And then Prezo walks right by me with his c- crew with badge. With his crew badge. And I was like, okay, that's <laughs> fine. Yeah, I mean, they're doing their job, though. Yeah, they, they, were, they, were they were really, really good. Strict. Security's, I mean, it's supposed yeah, to be. They were not messing around. Security's really good. Not messing around. Um, we got, we got there, I, the, we went the day before and we set up all the table linens. We did go the day before. Put out all the linens. Put out all the table numbers. Got we need to talk cream. about something important. And it is what the word RSVP means. Okay. What does the word actually? What does RSVP stands for? I actually don't know. Respond soon. Very please. I don't know what RSVP stands for. Respond if it pleases you? What? Oh, that's just like the meaning. What's the acronym? Oh. What is it? Is an initialism of the French phrase respond. Oh, respond s'il vous plaît. Respond okay. s'il vous plaît. Which is please respond. Okay, well, yeah, I would not have known that. I well, thought it was going to be really stupid. Turns out. <laughs> turns out people don't know what an RSVP is. I don't know. I I, I, I think, genuinely think that's a problem. I think, uh, yeah, I think, okay, me, I don't fill out an RSVP unless I'm going. Well, okay, and you also are uh, competent. Well, I'm also an event planner, so I think it changes okay, things. Too. I think people think that filling out or an maybe RSVP. maybe we're crazy. No. Okay. Ooh, what? I this think is me every time. I'm people wrong. think filling out an RSVP right. is just or, saying like, know. yeah, like I'll go. And then they think it's like a house party where if they show up, cool, good to see you. And if they don't show up, no one notices. But they don't think about the fact that there is a seat that has a name card printed out and their name is on it. And I ordered and food to their dietary restrictions. Food to their... Di- they put in their dietary restrictions. They put in if they're vegetarian or whatever. And then they have a four course or a three course meal set out at this empty seat and then the waiters come over and they take it away not untouched because they're not there but they these are people too that have been to the show before and they know, know it's a dinner it's so strange so i don't know what they don't understand about it but I so had about many people 30 people 
50, uh, some with plus one, some without, but it added up to 30 people the last three days of the show bail. Yeah, and some just straight no show. Like, yeah. no, no DM So I did, I did fill. So if people bailed, I was able to fill a lot of their seats um, unless it was day of or day before. I can't do anything because security is already, like, security is tight, 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 tight. And so you can't be changing things last minute right. or it just gets, again, chaotic and people are going to have problems. So if you bail the day before or the day of, it's just a wash. Yeah. Um, which is sad because it's just waste it's just waste and i don't want waste mm -hmm. and there's also tons of people that would love to be in those seats mm -hmm. um but the people the worst people of all the biggest crime committers are the no shows no heads up nothing yeah no apology no apology no nothing and i don't i don't know still if they, none there's I, I have like a list we have a list of like it's a lot maybe I, there's at least 20 cards out there some of them are. Some, some of them are repeats, are. but I, okay, maybe like 15. Uh, 10? I think there's like five. I don't think so. I, I think, think there's like five that. real ones. All right, whatever. Regardless, I don't if you're know. watching this right now, you are never invited again. Like, would they do that at a wedding? I don't know. I don't. I like, think, do you RSVP at a wedding? I do and just think not people go? do that. I wouldn't, but I think people do that. Do it's they so know how wasteful. Much seats cost? Have you uh, talked about that? No, I don't want to. You guys don't need to know about cost because I get flamed for it. Because it's so interesting. This is an interesting conversation. I like being transparent about what I spend on shows mm. because my money was given to me by you guys. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, I like to be like, oh my gosh, I'm spending this much. Can you believe it? This and this and this. But what that has become is like a hyperbolic chamber of... Great, I love the transparency, but then some people being like, well, you don't know how to spend your money. Right. I've been planning events for years. I promise you I'm cutting every corner I can in a way that still makes a good show that can save money. Like even just, I'm not kidding you, lowering the ounce size of the meat that is being served mm -hmm. or um, going in and saying, oh, if we print this at my house, it's cheaper than going and getting it printed. Like doing mm -hmm. that, like I'm doing that kind of like saying, oh, let's not do a red carpet here because you won't just don't pan down and you won't see it. Like I do everything I can to save money. Productions are just really expensive, especially in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, and it, but it becomes this big thing when I talk about money where people, number one, then just don't do the show. And I'm like, oh, I wasn't complaining about money. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining about money. I just am tr being transparent. I'm happy to lose money on investments because that's what investments can be. Mm hmm. They're gambles. Like investments can be a gamble. And so it's fine if I lose money. I'm not sad if I lose money. I would prefer not to, of course. Losing money though, wasting money on a seat that someone just doesn't yeah, show that's, up for. That's, that's so That's where I put my put my up. little baby finger the down. The food waste is one thing. Yeah. But yeah, her her money that she's like she's buying everybody dinner. That's the other thing. Is people see the stream awards because it's such a big <laughs> event. And they think that it's like a corporation, and you're just the host. I've heard that so many times. Well, yeah, because it's so big. It's hard yeah, but for I don't to, like, know. I don't know. It to you. But every single meal at every seat at the Streamer Awards, she bought everybody dinner. Like it's her money. <laughs> it's yeah. her money. Um, yeah, and also like I don't know. I don't get. I don't get. Like it's. I. I guess I get it. The justification is interesting. Like, if it's. Um, Family emergency, okay. Yes, I, that's Obviously. what I like to say. Family emergency, okay. You got freaking COVID, okay. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, anxiety attack, okay. Like, that's fine. Like, I also just saying like, hey, I don't really feel like it kind of sucks, but at least you said something to me. Yeah. But like saying nothing at all, nothing at all. So rude, it's so rude. I, I just, I can't, it, it makes me. I had one person, this is verbatim. I want to show this. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to show it. I want to read this verbatim, how someone sure? told me. Yes. Uh... This is how somebody told me that they weren't coming. Won't make it on Saturday. They told me that on Friday at midnight. Oh wait, yeah, that's midnight. Friday at midnight, won't make it on Saturday. 
no sorry, no period, no emoji, no thanks for the invite though, no no reason. I mean, I guess you're like, you're not like, I'm not, I'm not promised reasons. Like I don't, des- do I, do, I don't know. Do I deserve reasons? I don't know. I really don't know. It's, like, it's a, it's a courtesy. I think thing, it's though. common courtesy. Yeah, like I, you, you're not like owed yeah. their life, but I just, like, we I just, would never, if we were going to an event that we RSVP'd for, if you couldn't go, last minute especially, you're gonna say, Hey, sorry, I can't make I'm it. I'm so sorry, yeah. like, this came up. I'll make it up to you this way. Or, like, I'm so sorry this came up. Can I do this? Or, I'm so sorry this came up. I can't go, but, like, I wish I could. Any, just anything. It's just so rude. It's so rude, dude. I just, I yeah. can't. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. It really pisses me off. And it's, I, part of it, I'm really fired up because. She's fired like, up. I, you know, obviously both of us see how much work goes into the show and like how much time and like energy and it's all, so they just have this amazing experience and it's all set up for them and they have their special name cards and their special menu cards and programs and it's all set up for them and for them to just, it's just such a slap in the face. I I don't know. Um, It's fine. I, I just, I think this is something I've done the last few events. People that treat me like that, they just... But what it they is to them, come again. to be as generous as possible, like Space Boy, because this is on Twitter, so everybody's seen this. Um, Space Boy just tweeted, like, he did RSVP, and then he yeah. tweeted... Uh, well, I'll just pull it up, so then it's yeah, not like... Yeah, he, he tweeted, like, I can't make it to the Streamer Awards this year because I'm looking at a house. That was it. He was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it this year. Because I'm looking at a house. Cool, I'm looking yeah, at a house. Yeah, he said, back in 2022, Streamer Awards gave me the opportunity to move back to LA because I was able to look at houses while I was in town for it. This year, I can't make it because I'm looking at a new house. How the turntables, have fun, enjoy the show. So he tweeted that, and then I replied. I said, what do you mean? <laughs> it's the, he, the show starts at 3 o'clock, and he tweeted that at noon. Luckily, Space Boy's a good person. Yeah. He's a really good person. Like, he is a really, really sweet guy, and he genuinely did not understand it. Because then I DM'd him, and I was like... Because I, I know Space Boy. I've seen, like, we've seen each other at parties and stuff like that. And uh, he's always been really nice. And so I DM'd him, and I'm like, bro, do you know how, like, kind of mean this is? Like, and he was like, oh, I just... I just thought it was His a really response, big event. He said... Holy f- I'm dumb. I had no idea the significance of not being able to make it. I thought I'd just be a face in the crowd. I canceled the house tour. So then he ended up coming to the event. But that's, I think that's what people think. They think it's like a house party. They're just like, no one will notice if I'm not there. Not he he did come. He came and he was so great. Yeah. And like, and he did also, again, because I know people are going to be mad at me for saying any of this. It's totally fine to cancel. But you got to tell me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to tell me. You got to freaking tell me. It's just like, I don't know. And I also, one of the most memed ones was obviously XQC. XQC did tell me. Like, so I I just, I know we had the empty chair and I know Caroline was like, X, don't show up to stuff. But it was like a meme we exacerbated because it's X and he's fine with the joke. Like, but, so I don't want people to think I'm talking about XQC here because that's not it. I'm talking about people you would not know that just did not show up. Obviously, I would not meme someone that I actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't meme, like, freaking, freaking Tina Kitten didn't show up. That jerk, you know, like, that's not the situation. It it was just a bummer. It was just, it's just sad. Just tell me. I I never get mad. I never, ever, ever get mad at anyone who says, like, oh, I'm bailing. But... I'm just like, oh, okay, like, super sorry, like, let me know if there's any, literally, most of the people that said, hey, I can't make it, I was like, let me know if there's anything I can do to help you make it. Mm -hmm. Um, And then if there was, if they were like, oh, can't find a babysitter, I'm like, I don't know any, like, I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. But then it's even like, oh, you can't find a babysitter, you can't come? Feel free to restream it. Like, there was quite a few people that, like, the reason they couldn't make it was for, oh, financially, I can't make it. That's fine. Restream it then. Like, you're fine. I get it. Like, if it's financial, just stay at home. Like, do not waste your money on coming to a show like this if it's not, you know, if it's not in the books, then that's fine. Stay at home. But, like, don't, like, this is a separate topic of just people that just don't show up, give no explanation. She's mad. 
I think even if they do tell you and it's like day before, a couple days before, I still think that's fucked up. Unless it's an emergency or yeah. a sickness. There are a few people that were sick, which is sad. Yeah. A few people like, got COVID. Poor cardboard cowboy. He's from oh. Australia and he had his flight and he got no. COVID. Sweet Anita flew in. She stuck at her hotel no, for seven days. She has COVID. That sucks. Yeah. Damn. So sad. That's so, so sad. Because Sweet Anita loves the show. Like, and it's the only time I ever get to see her too. Huh. Yeah, that sucks. I know. I'm bummed. Um, well, the people that did show up were great. We're great. Yeah, it was um, fun. I think it was the most fun. It went great. One. Yeah, I think it went so well. Um, I started uh, the show at red carpet. So I was like, I was, everybody checked in and then they came in to me and then I directed them to a red carpet. It was supposed to be very organized and everybody had time slots and they would go with, like they were assigned an interviewer. And I think some people were super late. Like there are people that showed up over yeah. an hour. Also, late. LA is. But then really also hard. traffic that people aren't used to if they don't live here, and um, just like how long it takes to check in. So that could have been part of it. Or there were also some people that were just really late. Um, but yeah, so they would come in, and then I would have them, and I would say, "You're gonna go interview with Sea Dog," um, and then I tell production. Sea Dog was, was so good at C-Dog. interviews. Yeah, he's Shocker. good. Yeah, shock. Yeah. Shocking. Yeah. Sea Dog's good at talking to people. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's what I did. I did that for the whole red carpet. It was great. Um, production was great. They were so good to work with. They were so, so good at it. Like, so organized. Yeah, they were really so good. So chill. Um, really, like, receptive to changes and We had one like sadness with production. What? And I'll say this because people are going to want to hear me say it. Maximilian Dude's video... We don't know what happened. I have no clue what happened. I've already DM'd Maximilian, dude. I'm going to send him the video. So tragic because it's such a beautiful video. And the Legacy did, Award is so important to me. I don't know what happened. Did they hear it fine in-house? No. I was like that in-house. Yeah. Oh. I know. I don't know what the heck happened. I don't know if the audio or I don't, I don't know if the file corrupted or what. I have no clue what happened. Yeah, I don't know either. They were freaking out. Though. I know. I, I know sad. production was sad too. I mean, mistakes, yeah. mistakes happen. It's a live event. It's not like... You know, he can't go back and edit it. It it happens, but it's so sad because Maximilian was such a sweet guy, too. Yeah. And, like... Yeah, that was the biggest uh, the biggest mess up production-wise. Oh, it's so sad. But just know, like, it was no... In, it was not intentional and no disrespect to Maximilian. My editor <laughs> yeah, worked... Yeah, they think it's... I know. They think it's on purpose. I know, I'm just saying. sabotage. My editor worked so hard on that video. Yeah. She did an amazing job, and I think it really captured, like, the essence of him and... Uh, he's he was so great and it was so cool to be able to honor him and I wish it I wish that video would have worked but mm. it happens uh, you know mistakes happen I think um but I'm gonna I'm sending him the video and hopefully he'll be able to make a stream moment out of it and yeah, make nice. a video himself out of it like he can put it on his YouTube and stuff like that so plus I mean he, he got the award and he's in he's in the in the likings of Pokimane Jerma and himself are the ones that have been honored with that and it's just such an amazing it's, yeah, it's one of my favorite awards, so. But, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, I did red carpet, and then... You're good at it. Maya's the only one I trust with red carpet. Yeah, I was She chooses... Stressed. She has to... She plays Picasso. She has to make sure that, like, Connor gets enough airtime, Will gets enough airtime, Emily gets enough airtime, nominees get enough airtime, mm-hmm. like... Because priority is nominees, always, uh, for people that are wondering. They're like, hey, I didn't see so-and-so on the red carpet. Well, it's probably because a nominee was there at the same time. Yeah, and so. a lot of people get confused by that. Uh, I know, but I don't well. know what to make. How do I make that better, do you think? I mean, they don't, if they're not going to go to stream, they don't really need to do an interview. You think? If you want to do less Because I put them on YouTube, but then I would only. They... I mean, I've told people that. Some people do not like that answer. Really? A lot of streamers, they like want to be on stream. Yeah. And they'll, they'll like want to like do another interview to be on stream. And I'll have to be like, mm, no, sorry. Hmm. I need a solution to that. I, I wonder, just do, less do less interviews? interviews yeah. Do I still have three interviewers? Sure. But then people don't have to get there as early, other people. Yeah, I think they but just... But the nice thing is about more interviews is I stagger when Honestly, people come. Honestly, you could do half as many interviews, and I think it'd be fun. I do think, I will say, I do think most people like the experience of a red carpet interview. I yeah. think it's exciting for them. But there are some people that when they don't go to stream they get really upset about not being on stream. 
And the YouTube video with all the interviews doesn't really do well anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah, just Mental do less note. interviews. Hello. I'm actually going to write that down. Um, Every year, me and my, my, my main mans who helps me with this show. Um, not Ludwig, by the way, in case I said that. And people were like, Ludwig. Main mans. My main mans. Um, uh, we always kind of recap and uh, go over stuff. Okay. The show has now I'm started. writing down your idea. Harry Mack people. opened the show. He's amazing. He was so good. Harry I, Mack I is so talented. I, I should DM him right it. now. I thought it was such a good opener yeah. because... It, he showed everybody on the floor, like where everyone was sitting, and oh, he, he interacted so with the streamers that were sitting on the floor, which was so sick because then people got to see their streamer and it was funny and like and his stage presence is so good. Oh, he's he was so just, good. He was so good. I was so impressed. Um, so yeah, he was an excellent opener. Um, and then show started, went great. Cutie had her monologue. Mm, the monologue. She always is stressed about her monologue. I'm stressed about my monologue because comedy. Comedy is something I'm passionate about, but obviously I'm not known to the internet as a comedian. I don't do like I don't do stand up as my content. I go to a lot of stand up shows. I've done stand up, but I'm not like known as a person, so they just see it as a lot of people don't know me. So sometimes they'll be like, "Oh, freaking girls trying to be funny," and it's like I actually like I actually work on this a lot, and blah, 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 you know, like um, so monologue always stresses me out because our the internet audience isn't. Uh, they're not, the audience of the streamer awards is not necessarily the same audience that listens to stand up and listens to comedy, but regardless, it's something that like I'm passionate about. And I think we should make fun of ourselves in a room full of millionaires. I think we should poke fun at each other. Um, but there's a lot of nuance to comedy and it sucks because some things aren't like, they're not seen as. Comedy's hard. Yeah. I, it's just, the, no, there's a lot of nuance. There's so much nuance and it's so hard. Acuity was working on her monologue so much and practicing it so much. And Squeaks was helping her with it. Yeah. And Squeaks would say, like, at the end of that joke, you need to make sure that your voice goes up and not down because otherwise you sound like a bitch. If it goes up, it's funny. He didn't, for the record, down, Squeaks didn't say bitch. And if it goes down, you're going <laughs> to you sound, sound like, like a, a bitch. You sound like a bitch. A bitch is what okay. he said. My point is, it's an example. And then Squeaks said, women aren't funny anyway. And then he was like, go back to the kitchen. I was like, Squeaks, that's a really old joke. Yeah. Um, but there's so much in like the tone of your voice and how fast yeah. you say things and how much. Yeah, pause that was the biggest have. thing is Squeaks was like slow down, because yeah. in years prior I go really really fast. I also don't like like admittedly I don't have a very pleasant voice. We both we both sound like bitches. We're angry. Yeah. 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 Which, yeah. which and makes it, it, it was actually a, a st staunch difference when standing next to Pokey. Pokey has such <laughs> a gorgeous voice, and her like. <laughs> She's like, it sounds like she's like, her voice is like singing. It's because she's always smiling too. You she's can hear her smile beautiful. in the way yeah. she's talking. Like I'm standing next to her and she'll introduce a thing and then I have to do an ad read. <laughs> and it makes my ad read sound like, anyway, today, four trucks. And like, and then she's like, this nominee for did it. And I'm like, oh, she just has a beautiful voice. Yeah. Yeah, we're cursed with that. I need it's to good find a deadpan humor. I need to find that's... an ugly voice, sir, to host with me. Uh, I need someone with some vocal fry. Vocal fry's in, right? No. Now. Yeah, people love vocal fry. Not me. People love vocal fry don't and, love me. and voice cracks. <laughs> well, we'll Neff smoke her voice. He's going to have to be my co Yeah, I was going to say it's going to yeah. have to be male. Yeah, no, but then it doesn't work because yeah. he's way, he's just more charming. I'm just, I, I think that's my biggest problem as a host is I'm not very charming and I'm not very charismatic i think eventually for streamer awards to exist i can't be the host of it huh that doesn't yeah. make any sense really what are you gonna run the whole event and then put two i'll just produce it there? yeah okay i mean it saves you a lot if of... squeaks was saying my jokes yesterday oh he's so funny exactly squeaks and they're, they're delivery is literally crazy. like it just is it's just delivery and voice and i just i don't know i just don't think i have it by the way I, play, I played basketball with Squeaks the other day. Squeaks pretty good. He's basketball. pretty good. That dude can that dude can ball. Um, which is crazy because he's like five two. Honestly, that would be so am I, but I can ball too. <laughs> that would be sick actually if you weren't hosting because then you get 
ha- to like plan the event, which is what you love. You get to bring everyone together, which is what you love. But yeah. then you don't get any of the shit. I know, but <laughs> then, it's kind of sad because like I want to be. I've always I've always wanted to be a performer, but yeah. I've never necessarily been good at it. I'm terrible at it. I know. We're both bad at it, but we also both have a podcast that does okay. I know, so but like that's... I always wanted to be like you know like the main. I've always wanted to try. I've always like I don't need to be the main character, but I've always wanted to like get the main part at like oh, you know. I I've always wanted to be Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. I've I always like wanted tree roll. Yeah, but I want. I wanted to do that, and Maybe so it's sad to, to let it go, uglier. but I think it's... No. No. I... No, it's... Uh, I think it's it's just who... I, it's just... I don't come off great. I know it. My first impressions are so bad. And especially with an audience of millions of people tuning in, and they're like, who's this bitch? And I... I'm like, oh. Maybe this I'm is actually an interesting topic I know. because I think both of us are not very approachable, and I've been told that too in yeah, Texas. I've been told like I'm people, not yeah, people at parties are like afraid of me, even though I've never talked to them. And I, these are people that are like streamers, so so yeah. I've never met them, but like they know of me because of my stream. Um, but they say that I'm like really scary. I don't know if it's because of my face or or I, I don't I don't know. I feel like when people talk to me, I have very normal conversations. Well, it's part of the reason that I watch I watch a lot of Chelsea Handler stand up because she's not necessarily she has similar cadence to me. Like you could watch like Aubrey Plaza do jokes, and I think you that would be like where you would want to go. That's I go to Chelsea Handler, good. and even then, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do it because it's it's true. It, any I could have put even Ludwig doing my same jokes. No. Squeaks doing my same jokes. Lud, not Lud. Squeaks, yeah. Why not Lud? He's too nice to do those jokes. Really? Yeah, it'd be weird as hell to hear Lud say, like... Ouija's Mansion. Yeah, that would be so weird. Or him being like, hey, Tina, can like slime. yourself. Slime would be good at that, yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know. It's just something I thought about. It's sad, but I think it's like the, it's like the reality of like sometimes when I do like these shows, like I'm also a bit of a casting director and I like the more like I'm not stupid. Like I'm not dumb. The more I see the show, I, I, I realize like maybe I can't be the main character. Um, I don't think that's true. I think you do a good job hosting. I, I don't think that you need to bring in someone else. Could someone else do it better? Maybe. But that's for literally I mean, always, ever. Yeah. Right. Who knows? You know what someone couldn't do better? Be Swiffy's mom. Hi, Swiffy. I guess I lost his leash today. He's sleeping. Crap, there is somebody. <laughs> no! He's sleeping. But I give him all of his vitamins. I brush his teeth and I love him. He's well, sleeping. I think the monologue went well. I thought you sounded very alive giving it, which is sick because I tend to fall into to being real monotone. It, it, you can hear it. Yeah, the I tend to I just... fall into real monotone. <laughs> I'm real monotone, um, and you could do that too, but when you were doing a monologue, you I, were I really worked alive. really hard yeah. to be alive yeah, in it. Yeah, it was good. That's why I practiced it so much. It was good, it was good. But what I, you know what I need to practice is the freaking ad reads. Well, what are you going to do? I know. People, they know what an ad read is, it's fine. But it's just like, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think, I think it was a good show this year because the biggest criticism that I've seen is... Too many ads. And I'm like, well, that's not that bad. It's yeah, it's got to be done. That's not that bad, guys. Gotta I got to pay for the show somehow. And if you, it's funny thing is, if you watch the show, a lot of the ads are like me being like, merch is for sale. Me being like, user Twitch Prime. Me being like, hey, our Patreon has content. Me being like, mm. <laughs> like all the ads, because we had a lot of sponsors, but not enough. Mm-hmm. And so you know, so like, I had an Iron Forge gym ad. Off brand ended up. Per, like paying for the after party so mm-hmm. they have um they had three ads and like what can you do it does it is really sad because i think of my speech last night where i say for one night the negativity i like that you said that it's quiet and it is it's true for that one night it's quiet and we're all together and we're all celebrating but the next day always sucks a little when people focus people start well then you start saying what people thought yeah and then you're like, oh, that actually. day always feels bad. <laughs> yeah. But I just keep doing my best. And I, I don't know. I think it's more important to focus on. Like, that's the hard thing about award shows is there's less or there's way more losers than there are winners. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But I say this every single time. The award show is just an excuse to get people together. I would I have no I have nothing else I could do to get 300 creators in a room. Mm-hmm. Like I do, I love highlighting people. I, I have nothing else I could do to get people to talk for two months and say, oh my gosh, I'm going to nominate NMP Lowell for shared channel because him and Melina popped off this year. Like, did it, you know, and talk about that. Mm. Otherwise, these conversations are literally not happening because we never slow down in the industry to say nice things about each other. We don't. We just move on and the new game comes out. And then we, every once in a while, we'll be like, oh, I had fun playing with so-and-so. But like for two months during nominations and voting, People are having these conversations of, hmm, who do I want to choose for best RP streamer? So-and-so has been so funny this year. These words would not come out of their mouth otherwise. I will say it's very cool to be able to meet people from a bunch of different um, branches of the industry yeah. that I would never meet otherwise. My job at the Streamer Awards, besides yeah, helping she's Judy with whatever she selling needs, Tupperware. is selling Tupperware. She has an MLM. If you guys join it now, what are we you about? can sell Tupperware too. Uh, my job at the Stream Awards, Be besides doing boss. everything that Cutie needs, is um, pitching Alvaeus. Yeah. And so I go around to people that <laughs> I don't like, know. You like birds? <laughs> swear to God. Sometimes I just say, you like animals? And they're hey. like, yeah. And I'm like, uh, I have I have a lot of them. Really? Um, it you, depends on How many person. people do you think you pitched to last night? Give a list. I can tell you all of them. I meant to give you the guest list so you knew who to look out for. That's funny. Because there was a few people that I knew I was inviting that you've never talked to before. Um, Eret would probably never talk to Eret. Otherwise, I'd, I'm just interesting. Doug Doug. Everything Now Show. Never met them They're before. They're so fun. They're really funny. Dean's so cool. I do know Dean, and we have talked Dean about it before. Dean is sick. The nicest person. Dean is my favorite human in the world. Um... Baby No Money. Baby No Money's been to all this before, though. Um, sea Dog. Oh, fuck that who, guy. I don't even like that Obviously, no, no Connor, but um, we talked about all this last night, and he's like, oh, I just, do you have time? I don't want to bother you. You know what I should do? I should ask Mouse for you. I bet she would love it. Yeah, you should. I just talked to her at red carpet. Mouse would love Admittedly, that. Admittedly, I don't really... I don't know if she knew who I was. So Gunrun, Gunrun, they're the ones that bring Mouse to any of my events. And they are so amazing to work with. They're so freaking sick. Mm -hmm. They're so nice. And I bet they'd be down to bring her to yeah, Elvis. Great. I'm trying to figure out how to take her to Disneyland. Um, Rubber Ross and Quackity. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So I talked to all of them last night about Elvis, which is good. You should talk to a twa. I should have. Yeah. And Selbit. I talked to him... Well, well, they're, I mean, aren't they both? Atois is in France and Selbit's in Brazil. Right, okay. Can you guys believe I, that? What am I going to be like? Okay, guys, just come to Texas. Selbit was so funny. He was like. He was so nice to everyone. Yeah. Everyone was his best friend. Yeah. It was crazy. He was so sick. And he was like, he, it was funny because he was like, hey, you might get a lot of sh for me losing because I have a very large audience. But like, I promise I'm okay. And I was like, I'm used to it. Don't worry. Like, people are mad when their streamer loses. There's nothing I can do about it, guys. Like, I'm just following the numbers. And, but the cool thing is, is, I mean, he had a lot of votes. And that's a, that's a non-NA audience. Yeah, there was. And so it's like that, you know, and so he said to me, he was like, that's fine. Because they know about the show now. I win next year. And I was like, <laughs> pop off, King. Like, I was like, okay. There was a lot of. I don't even know what, I don't know if it was French or what, but there was a lot of not English in your chat last night, which was cool to it see. It was so cool. It was the first time I've ever seen that. It was so the sick. Show. Yeah, I love it. So I want good. the show, I want, I, I've said this from the beginning, I want the show to have every corner of the internet involved, and that takes time, mm -hmm. and every year it gets better. My favorite thing is when nominations come out and people say, oh, I didn't know that streamer. I didn't yeah, know yeah, that yeah. streamer. I'm like, I had so yes, many of that. Bitch. I didn't know who yeah. Robert Ross was, but now he might come to all this. Yeah. Right? That's my favorite thing. I just want I want I want to highlight I want to highlight I get excited when I look at nominations and I don't know. And I try to I I don't think people realize how much my veins are hooked up to Twitch and I am just all year long looking at everyone. She does just scroll. I don't think categories. there's one streamer I don't know. That's an insane thing to say. Like big streamer at least. Oh, okay. Like any streamer. I, like, <laughs> I don't think there's any streamer over a thousand viewers that I don't know. Confidently, I can uh, say that. No way. Confidently. I'm not kidding you. There are people I will go to parties and I'm like, oh, I love your streams. They're like, what are you talking? Like, what? They don't even know me. 
That's a crazy statement. I, I I'm not kidding possible. you. Okay, what I about know so English many. English only. Well, English for sure, but I do know a lot of outside I don't of English think too. So. Dude, I do. I'm not kidding. Every night, so. every single night before I go to bed, I go on Twitch and I browse. Every morning, I go on Twitch and I browse. It's the first thing I do every single day. That's crazy. For a whole year. I don't watch any streams. It's all I do. It's huh. insane. Well, um, because I don't want to be surprised. Like I want to. I just want to know. Everybody found their seats that. There was a like a fishbowl kind of situation where the people that bought tickets were in the balconies and then the uh, people on the floor were on the floor. Um, and so they could see us and they could see people getting drinks from the bar. What? Swell Entertainment. She makes amazing videos on YouTube. Okay. She came to Stream Awards last year and did a like review of it. Okay. And she had yeah. some great critiques. I agreed with like all of them. Yes. Yeah. Um, and she talked about the fishbowl. She's like, the fishbowl's a little weird. And I was like, I agree it's a little weird, but I also think it's kind of fun interactive. Mm -hmm. If you're going there as a fan, I think it's kind of fun. No, you totally want to see the stream. Yeah, so I get it. But I, I don't think Swell is, she's not necessarily a fan because she's more mm -hmm. of a Creator. peer. Yeah. Um, and so this year I didn't, I purposely, this, maybe this is mean. I personally didn't invite her on the floor because otherwise that's a total, like she can't, like you can't, can't review that. That's like if you send me cookies, I'm not going to go on stream and be like, Hmm. You know, like you send me your skincare and I'm like, oh, it's, it's bad. Like you can't, if you're a guest, it's, it's BM to mm -hmm. whatever. So I'm excited to see her review. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Regardless, and she could be, she can be mean. She can do whatever. I just respect her opinion a lot. So that's funny. Yeah. I'm excited. I, Cause I saw her in the crowd and I was like, I think it's funny that because they were watching and I would have to run in there, like the crowd of all the people and I would go in and I would use a song to find people uh -huh. so i would be like hassan look for austin and then he would like scan over everybody because i couldn't see because it was like in the middle uh -huh. and then we had to get everybody inside to sit down for the show and so i was like yelling and i was like on one side and i was like get in the dude it was <laughs> get in the, room. the amount of times i, I had to use m men last night to be like no one is listening to me you will you yell and then a guy would be like sit down everyone listen i was like and not because of like sexism, I don't think. I think genuinely my voice isn't as loud as like yeah, Will's. Yeah, well, it's demanding. Yeah. Um, okay, so then Harry Mack opened and then uh, Leviathan performed. <laughs> he was incredible. He was so funny. I tweeted a video. Did you see the video I tweeted? No. Let's, I have blood. Um, no. It's so funny. I think it's so funny. I will say the audience was hype on Leviathan. They loved him. <laughs> he loved it. Look at this baby dance. Look at Peach. Peach walking by. That's so funny. <laughs> Dude, I will say the funniest. I, listen, I don't usually address drama, but the funniest drama ever where people, I guess Leviathan has a song in Chug, or a line in Chug Jug about oh you that says like that's so gay or something. And so people were pissed. They're like, how dare he says that? And Leviathan. Python tweeted, he's like, I like boys. That's like, so funny. What the hell? It just shows that sometimes the internet just likes to get mad. He did great. He, he did, did great. so good. It was so um, funny. And then and he was the sweetest. Yeah, he was so he nice. He was so nice. Dude, I walked past him after he did his performance. He was sitting there like eating chicken and I was like, you killed it up there. And he was like, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Tell my mama. <laughs> it's, like, my, it's my passion. <laughs> yeah. um, he was funny. Yeah, he Chris was Chris awesome. Next Door killed it too. Yeah. He's got voice, man. Yeah. And then he walks backstage. He's like, I think I did okay. I was like, Chris, Aww. what the f***? He did so good. Yeah. He did great. Baby No Money was sick. I love Baby No Money. Yeah. He's so nice, dude. Oh, so nice. I have... He came, the first time I met him, he came to my apartment and did a cooking stream with me. And after the stream, he did all the dishes by himself. Oh, I told you that. That's nice. I wasn't even in the kitchen at that time. I like yeah. went to go turn it off on my PC. When I came back, he was like doing the dishes from our stream. I, I was channel. watching him do his sound check and his voice is also beautiful. Yeah. Just no audio, no anything. He's just like singing his song. I was like. Pfft. Yeah, he did a really good yeah, job. Okay. Um, his performance was a lot. It was hilarious. Yeah. It was a lot going on um yeah the videos were good austin ox video obviously was good always good um i didn't watch it that's the fun thing is austin ox freaking <laughs> sent it to me day of and i was like i trust you so much that i'm not watching this watch it really. i didn't have a chance i literally austin ox austin ox is yelling at you this is not me yelling at you why are you send them so late he what is wrong with works you works really hard on them when did he Don't start yell at him. when did you ask for it well a while ago. Austin Ox? No. You send her those videos faster. You Austin bitch. Ox, 
Listen, work on yours for next year now. Actually, I don't know. I'm in that deflated. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if I'm going to do it next I'm year. I'm in actually. the deflated zone. I'm sure uh, I will, for the record. I'm being dramatic right now. I'm just a little. We'll see. Nah, 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 nah. I just have to decide what to do. There's a lot of decisions I have to make because it's just, there's, you know, every every year I want to make it better and the best. And, but it also, like, you know, I got to, I got to, it's got to be. There's a lot to do, so I have to decide. I think, like, that's something I've talked about to make it better is making it smaller, smaller venue, scaling it down, but it's so sad because I love that venue, and I love Very the people cool. that work there. They're so accommodating. They're so freaking amazing. Um, but, yeah, I just, I you know, some things like that, moving it to quarter four because mm -hmm. you're more likely to get sponsorships and ad revenue itself, like the ads playing during the Twitch show help, like, you know, then I won't even have to sell as many sponsors because then the ad revenue will just be quarter four ad revenue is massive. So, um, a lot of things to think about, but that's okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. And, or maybe nothing will change. I don't know. Um, that was it for performers. And then yeah. everybody sent in their videos. Wahoo. Yes. We got everyone's videos. We got videos, everybody's videos. Those were good. Um, Kai was reacting to, on Instagram. Did you see the video? No. Oh my God, it's so sweet. He's uh, in his hotel room and he's just reacting to it. And it's just like. Yeah, his video was, was good. Um, sweet. Jinx's video was funny. Jinx is funny. Soda's video was so funny. Soda was so funny. I'm shocked you got that video from him, if I'm being honest. You know how it is. Yeah. Threaten him. Streamers don't like. <laughs> Streamers I don't like him. doing that. Um, no, I mean, every, I will say everybody is really, really, I think, I mean, it, it's, this like, it's not just my show. Like, everybody contributes so much. Taking time out of your day to show up to something like that, to find an outfit for something like that, to send in a video for something like that, to ask people to vote for you. Like, it's it's not just me. Like, people give me so much credit. I'm like, no, there's, it's, everybody works on it. Like, I realize I do a lot of the work. I'm not crazy, but, like, it wouldn't exist without everybody. Mm. it wouldn't it couldn't yeah true so like if no one said in their video imagine nobody sends a video nobody shows up to accept an award no award show there's no award show there's no reason there's nothing to get together for there's you know there's no none of it at all it doesn't work out so yeah but yeah it worked it worked this year it did good it went great it did um let's see i also uh Um, let's see. Let's see. Peaked at 605,000 viewers. An average 339. But the airtime was nine hours because it... So, c considering that it averaged like 20, 30K for three of these hours to bring that average down is pretty high. Cutie stream was at like 250 or something. And yeah. then... Jinxie watched it on his stream with over a hundred. Queso watched it with yeah. almost a hundred. Which Kai they had reasons. With, I don't know how many. Well, Your Kai, Kai, Kai just three. reacted to his Instagram. For oh. the record, I should have maybe. I'm realizing now when we talk about like reacting, the reason that I say, "Hey, if you weren't invited, don't react," is because a lot of times people will just say, "Oh, if then you I'm just were gonna... invited." Yeah. If yeah. you if you were invited, please don't, don't react. react. Like if you were invited, the streamers wouldn't go. They wouldn't go. There's no reason to go if you can just stay home and react. And then if there's no one going, then it defeats the purpose. Mm -hmm. Um. But I need to be better at having like individual conversations with each person. Cause like agent zero zero, he's so freaking sweet. And I know he would be there if he could have. And he DM'd me day of, he's like, Hey, am I okay to react to this? And I'm like, Oh yeah, you are. Cause he just had, he was in NBA all-star weekend and mm -hmm. he's traveling and it's just crazy. And he's always been so kind. And he was like, I wish I could be there, mm -hmm. but I can't. Is there any way I can restream? Like, and I knew he couldn't be there and I forgot to like have a bigger conversation with him. But then the day of, he's like, hey, can I restream? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, of course. Here's this tweet. If anyone gives you shit, like you're, you're good. Like you're good. Um, but I need to like think through that more. It's just hard. It's not scalable. It's just hard. I know it's hard. It it's individual basis. Yeah. And then it's like, you know. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, like I, yeah. I just, I, I think it went great though. I think... Taylor and, I, Taylor and I were saying this morning, I think it's the best one so far. Yeah. Like I said, if the, the only complaint was that there was too many ads, I feel great about that. Yeah. 
Um, I think it went great. Um, it was, it was good. It was good. It was good. Now it's over. And now what? Do you have like <laughs> post event <laughs> burnout? Like, do you just sleep for three days or? No, I feel fine. I feel kind of nothing. Everyone was saying to me last night, they're like, how do you feel? I was like, fine. Yeah. You always feel nothing after events. I feel fine. I used to get, I used to get event s- depression as I'd call it. I'd call it post event depression because I'm a people pleaser. Mm-hmm. I'll never be able to make everyone happy with this show. I'll never be able to make anyone happy with any of my shows. But at least my, some of my other shows are smaller, so it feels better. Um, so you just kind of, like, have to accept that. And it sucks sometimes <laughs> to accept that. And that's mm-hmm. fine. But it, it just sucks. And so sometimes I get some pretty gnarly post-event depression. Um, but I'm chilling right now. Mm-hmm. I feel fine. I have, you know, I'll take... Monday, I'll probably stream watching the event, reacting to it. Tuesday, I have a sponsor. Then I'll take a few days off. And then I was going to start my late night show this week, but I don't have time. Yeah, that's crazy. To throw it together. So that's a lot. Yeah. I leave for Brazil in like less than a week. Yeah. So next week, I have a, I'll do a guest episode because Maya will be in Brazil. It's going to be. i next two weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. So am I doing two guest episodes? Yeah. For some reason, I thought I was just doing one. No, I don't think so. Maybe I'll do an episode with Taylor while she's here. And then the next week, I'll find... Um, yeah, I'm going the next two. I'll hunt someone down. Um, so if you have any suggestions, but I'll be should back ask. here if you want to str- if you want to go film here. So this is tomorrow's episode. That episode... Uh, I'll see. I'll just see if okay. I can knock on Taylor and if I can, but leave a comment on who you think I should ask to be my guest. Preferably someone in LA, because I don't want to ask anyone to fly out. So yeah, that'd be crazy. Yeah. So and someone in LA that you're like, oh, that'd be a fun one about it, guess. But yeah. I will be gone. Goodbye, everybody. Tell them where you're going. What are you doing, man? I'm going to Brazil. I'm going to film a few YouTube videos. Um, one on. Purple Martins, which is a songbird in North America. As soon um, as you land, you have to take a picture in front of a Brazilian flag and say, hello from Brazil. Okay. Because it's like such a meme. Oh. You didn't know that? No. Or come to Brazil. They're both memes. Okay. Um, Brazil seems dope, though. I'm doing a video on Purple Martin conservation, uh, which is a songbird. And then, because um, they migrate to the Amazon, I'm going to the Amazon rainforest. And then the second video is on the Amazon as a whole and conserving the Amazon. So I'm working with um, whale and dolphin conservation and Rainforest Alliance. Uh, <gasps> Rainforest Alliance. Hooray. Uh, and filming a couple YouTube videos and some, vlo- some vlogs uh, going out there. But I'll be gone for two weeks filming those. Hopefully. Are you streaming at all? No, you're just filming. Oh, that's going to be stressful. Why? I don't know. I always get stressed. When I don't stream. Unless I... I guess they know you're not streaming. They know. They'll live. Um, yeah, hopefully it's the best content of my career. It's a dream. <gasps> is that what you want? It is what I want. I, I mean, as a conservationist, the Amazon is number it's one. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah. yeah. So, um, hopefully, we'll see. I'm bringing Flip with me. Videographer. And we're going to do our best. That'd be fun. Yeah, I have to go treat my clothes with permethrin. What's that? It's a like a in, like a insect repellent thing you spray on your clothes, but you can't. You can only spray it on the outside of your clothes, not the inside. Weird. And it lasts for like forty days or something ridiculous. Weird. Yeah, it's pretty serious. Oh wow! Do you get to see gorillas? No. Oh, I wish you could do one of those. Gorillas like, are in Africa. Like what? They're not on the Amazon. No. What? None of them? No. Like, I'm. Silverback gorillas? <laughs> no, those are in like. But like, like Rwanda. The Jane Goodall videos. Rwanda. She's always like, it's Rwanda. Yeah. I didn't know there was. Is that a rainforest? It looks so green. Yeah. I was, oh. <laughs> what rainforest is that? Um. What the hell? Forests and lowland. Am I the only one that thought that? Central West Africa. Equatorial Africa. Congo Basin. Whoa, I didn't know that. Oh, I want the grizzles to be everywhere. You know, <laughs> lots of different monkey species in the Amazon. Um, one in every 10 species on the planet is in the Amazon rainforest actually, which is disgusting. Well, most of those are bugs, no? 
Or is that separate? Yeah, probably. Bugs. Um, yeah, so many and bugs. And snakes that could eat you up. Uh, Don't you think? I'm not, I'm not that can eat you. Well, I thought there was, like, that one that can eat a whole deer, and you're the size of a deer. Yeah, like a giant, really, really big anaconda. Yeah. I don't think it could eat me. A, a infant, for sure. But it eats a deer. I don't know. You're deer know. size. I, it'd be a pretty big task. I don't think they would go for it. How do they get a deer? They're very strong. Well, if they get a deer, they can get you, man. Maybe. I'm not worried about it. Just punch them in the nose. Dude, it? it would have to be such a big... It would have to be a huge snake. Like, just the biggest. How many snakes eat deer? I'm Googling it. Not a lot. How many deer are consumed by snakes annually? How many deer are consumed by snakes annually? It's like, bitch, no one's ever Googled this. Burmese pythons can eat deer, other big prey. Those are in Florida. It's actually quite common for... They shouldn't be, though. Uh, 200 pounds, 20 feet long. They don't have... No one's counting, I guess. Well, how would you count that? Maya, this deer was seen savagely eating... Oh, this deer ate a snake. Oh. Uh, revenge <laughs> for its brethren. <laughs> That's awesome. I've seen that video. That was bizarre. Why did it do it? I don't know. It's very weird. Maybe very he weird. had that... Yeah, have you ever seen that? Have you ever heard of that drug? That Not drug. That It's like a drug. There's that deer worm that gets in their brain and makes them walk on hind legs. No. Dude, it's a thing. Wait, it's like a it's brain a parasite. parasite. Yeah. Weird. Deer brain <laughs> parasite. Maybe that's, that deer was on a brain parasite and so it wanted to eat a snake. Deer brain parasite. I can't. Brain worm. Slender round worm. White-tailed deer are the most normal host, but... Huh. Oak, ook, moose, and elk. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Mook. Moose. Moose and elk. And um, caribou. Paras zom ba brain parasite turns moose into zombie. I don't want to watch that video from PBS. Interesting. PBS chill. Zombie deer disease spreads to several states. Yeah, it's crazy. They like walk on hind lanes, legs and they like, you'll, you could find a deer like running into a, a tree. That's sad. It's so sad. Parasites are weird. But I wonder if that's why he, he ate a snake. Oh. Because why would he eat one? I thought deer I are deers carnivores? No. No, 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 no. Maybe, they're, they're maybe he saw that snake and he just didn't f*** with it. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it talked shit on his mom. But like there's lots of people I don't f*** with. I don't eat them. That's nice of you. People ask me that all the time. When they come to Alvarez and they're like, does he bite? Does it bite? Can it bite? And it's like, yes, but so can I. But he won't. Oh. But that's, that deer did. Wait, yeah. who are you talking about? When you, oh, your snake? No, anyone, yeah. Oh. Yeah, the snake a lot. They're just like, can it bite? Winnie could bite the sh if he wanted. Winnie only has teeth on the bottom row. Never mind. <laughs> Winnie doesn't got sh I mean, I think she could still bite. It's just not the same as like- I wish you could ride cows. I think you could sit on them, but I don't think it'd be good for them. Only because they look so fun to ride, like, if you're hugging Dude, you'd from behind. you be doing the splits on Winnie. No, I want to... Her back is, like... I want to hug her like this. Oh, you can do that. And be well, on her. her oh. I want to be on top of her while she you're waddles. You're longer than her back. Oh. Yeah. Well, not if I'm, out. like, this. I think I could do it. <laughs> okay. Catch us next time where Cutie comes to Alvis and hugs Winnie from behind. For until she stands up and then waddles with me. Stands up. Oh, I want she's her lying to, down. I want her to, yeah, and then okay. I get on her, and then she stands up, and she waddles, and I'm on the back, like, ooh, ooh. Did you see the, um, I, didn't, I think, it, I don't know if it was Austin Knox's video or someone's, no, it was the recap Sam's video. video. Yeah, um, and they showed the clip of Winnie peeing, uh -huh. and they had Hassan on the reaction cam, just, like, really? coincidentally, That's and Hassan funny. was like, because <gasps> he loves Winnie. <laughs> it was cute. That's funny. No, cute. I need to, I'm going to watch this. I'll watch this. Oh, my tomorrow. God, nightmare. I hate watching my streams. Uh, I, like I've events. got to. i got to learn. Yeah. yeah. I don't do it with any other events, but this one I do. That's fair. I have to sneeze. And I won't watch myself. Like, I'm not going to watch the monologue. <laughs> you should watch the monologue. It wouldn't, I don't so want So you to. can learn. You should have squeaks. It'll just make me you feel bad. You just have squeaks and then have him send you a report card. Yes. Yeah, I should do that. That'd be cute. Dude, I love squeaks, man. He's good. He's so cool.
He is so cool. I'm sad he didn't win anything last night. It's because he's a loser. Whoa. Jesus. I mean, it was a... It was a good... Every category was tight. There wasn't one category that I was like, that's the winner. Like, I already know, looking at it. Except for... Software. You just knew Pirate Software was going to win? I knew he was going to win. He's so... He's massive right now. Massive! Plus, he has all those ferrets. Yeah, he's got so many ferrets. All the ferrets ferrets. voted for him. Yeah. They're bots. (laughs) His ferrets. Peeling off these fake nails. I'm over them. I like them. Um, yeah, he was super nice. I talked to him yesterday. He was so nice. I didn't he's, get a chance to talk to him. He's a huge supporter of Elvis. He's really, really good Yeah, you us. should get him out there. I know. I've told him. I don't know where he lives. I've told them all. They all know that they can come You Maybe Elvis. next time we should put Elvis cards or something. Elvis, some, something from a spe- oh, in the gift bags. Like something with Elvis. I would love that. I wonder if Honestly, we could get the Winnie plushies or something. Yeah, maybe we can make gift bags and just be like, you want to come to Texas? You'll... Yeah, it could be worth it. Yeah, but then I might have too many people. That's n- not a problem. It's been can... a problem this month. Dude, I've done four collabs. I know, but maybe you have like someone else do the actual collab. Oh. Like Connor and Pirate Software would get along swimmingly. Yeah, but that's bad for the collab. Because Pirate Software doesn't f*** with Connor. No, because Connor's not famous. Yeah, Connor, grow up. <laughs> get your fucking... Get, get it together. Get your bag up. What's up? What are the things people say? I think they say get your bag up. Why does it sound stupid when I say it? Because <laughs> I... Just get your money up. It. No, it's get your money up. Get your... Get get that bag. <laughs> get... Get that coin. <laughs> get the coin. Get No, get that coin. Not get the coin. Get... Get that coin. Get your money up. Get your money up. Get that bag. Face down. Ass up. Face up. up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I'm going back to Texas now. I literally have to leave. She literally has to leave. For the airport right now. That's why this is that. And then Patreon is... Oh, go to the Patreon. We spilled tea about the after party. (laughs) We we started doing it on the YouTube episode, and then we realized that it had to be on Patreon. Yeah, we started. But then it was... Cuckoo Cabana. Cuckoo Cabana. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Men are bad wing manners. They are. Because then I, I I said to Ludwig, I said, hey, I think I should just tell him that she thinks he's cute. And Lud's like, no, no. She, this this was, I'm flaming him right now. This was Lud's advice. He was like, she needs to play the hot girl and be like, so nice chatting and leave. Just brush his arm and leave. Just go up to him. Because now we're not even talking. Just go up to him and go, so nice chatting. Like, and specifically, he said this was the hot girl move, was just grabbing his arm. <laughs> And I said, but you already weren't on his oh, radar, so he would just be like, who is that? Okay. Oh, so can I just say, if Ludwig thinks this is flirting, every girl was flirting with him last night, so his ego oh. must be.